it's day four of virtual sports camp. I hope you enjoyed yesterday. It isn't quite the same when we're not in person, but haven't the coaches done a great job so far? Great ideas for training when we have limited equipment and we might be by ourselves. So today we have Coach Cindy with bocce at 10 o'clock. Bocce is a great sport, one that we call a lifetime sport. It can be played at any age, anywhere, and pretty much all year round. If you wait and see what Cindy shows you about playing bocce, all you need are a pair of socks. And make sure you stay tuned for one o'clock with Coach Brooke for softball intensive training. Softball is one of my favorite sports, so I can't wait to see what Brooke has in store for us. Get your water bottle, stay hydrated, and stay tuned. And then after softball, everyone, stay tuned for Coach Heather at three o'clock with athletics. She's got some great things planned. Can't wait to see them. Hi, okay, now this is camp week, so we need to get together here on a few things because we can't be together and I can't be here personally to give you some pointers on how to take care of yourselves this week. So what I wanna do is give you essentials for your health. This is a unique year, one where essential has become a key word for many outstanding helpers in our society. Doctors, nurses, laboratory techs, policemen, firefighters, emergency and first responders, and many more. But let's bring this back home to you. You are essential. As an athlete, you've got so much to offer when you come to camp. You are a value. You are a beautiful person and you are an athlete. God has blessed each of you with gifts and talents. And of course, that includes your specialty sport. So how can I help you stay healthy until we meet again next year in person in 2021? Well, here's my hot list. The essential seven to stay healthy this year. Hey, Sherry, what are you doing sitting there so straight and tall? Oh, well, okay, so you know what, here we go. Hot tip number four. Essential seven, four is posture. What? Well, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm practicing. A straight back helps you in so many ways. Sit tall, stand tall, walk tall, and you know what that does? It gives you great posture. It helps your back muscles, it helps your spine, it helps your neck, and it helps your lower back. And you can practice deep breathing so much easier for lung health for your sport if you have a straight back. Lung health is very important because as you deep breathe, you develop lung capacity to play that volleyball game, to play that soccer game, to do football, to do that bocce ball, and make sure you're doing everything with greatness. Let's practice that deep breathing, for example. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, Pause one, two, and breathe out. One, two, three, four. Ready? Picture when you're doing this, a balloon that you're blowing up from the flat little skinny balloon to make it get nice and big and full. And that's what happens with your lungs when you're deep breathing. Your coach will see the difference with your posture and deep breathing that you're gonna practice all year long. Hey everyone, it's Dominic. First and foremost, I miss you all and wish that I could be with you this summer, but next summer is going to be even better. So let's get into some warm ups. So, first, we're going to spread our legs a little bit, lean to the right, hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Then bring it to the left for 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Then we're gonna spread out our legs a little bit. Go right down the middle. You're gonna feel it in your back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then over to your right foot for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Over to your left foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly come up and we're gonna do arm circles for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And big arm circles for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go in reverse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one, and big reverse all the way up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna take a seat right where you are. Spread your legs out like this. And we're gonna go to the right side first for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down the middle, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left side, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I know this one's tough, but butterfly. All right, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly get up and just shake it all out and you're ready to go. All right, well, we miss you and we love you and we can't wait to see you next year. All right, bye-bye. Hi everybody, it's Coach Cindy. It's time for some bocce. I know many of you can't practice with your teams right now, so we'll set up some skills that you can do at home. Uh, we'll set one up inside and then some outside with some friends who you may recognize if you've been to sports camp. After that, we'll play one frame of bocce at the bocce court and we'll talk about the scoring. So let's get started. When I introduced myself earlier in the week, I mentioned some things that you could look for in your house in case you don't have a bocce set. But if you weren't successful in finding any of those things, I'm gonna show you how to use socks to make uh, a practice polina and bocce ball. Now I'm a skier, so I got one of my long ski socks, but I also got some of the short socks that I wear the rest of the year. So, in order to do this, you take your socks, start at the toe end, and start rolling. You might want to fold the sides in a little bit as you're rolling, and go till you get to the open end. Take the open end and pull it around. If you squeeze a little bit, you make it a little bit rounder, and there's a practice bocce ball. I'll show you again using the short socks. If you're using the short ones, you might want to use two. Put the toes together. Again, start at the toe end. Roll them until you get to the open end. Pull the outside open end around. Squeeze it together, make it a little bit rounder. And there you go. Now, before we go to the indoor practice area in the hallway, let's talk about how to hold the uh, Polina and bocce ball. The grip, you're going to hold it in the palm of your hand and spread your fingers around it. I'm going to take a few steps back. Um, the carpet in my hallway has a line on it. That's going to be my throwing line. I am right-handed, so I'm going to put my left foot forward at the line. The ball, the bocce ball, you're going to hold waist high. You're going to swing your arm back, and you're going to release. I'll do it again with one of the bocce balls. I've made four. Um, four for each team, if you're going to practice by yourself, four is good. But if you don't have that many, that's fine too. You can also do four for you and four for, for um, the other team. And you can see one of my cats is in the picture. We're just gonna let him play. So here are the other bocce balls. Again, the grip, hold the bocce ball in the palm of your hand, spread the fingers, one foot forward. Remember your toe does not cross the line. Swing back and release. One more time. Grip the ball, one foot forward, swing your arm back, and release. Okay, I'll show you the practice area I set up. 
Now I'm in the upstairs hallway at my house and I've set up a practice area and I'm going to use some bean bags, round bean bags from another game. And if you don't have those, perhaps you would have some tennis balls or Nerf balls, something that wouldn't damage it, the walls. And I put one down the hallway to use as the polina and the others I'll use as my bocce balls. And I made a throwing line out of a yardstick, but if you don't have that, you could use a piece of string or use some tape on the floor. So I'm going to, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put my left foot at the throwing line and look at the target and roll the bocce ball down the hallway. Okay, that's the first one. I'll do three more. That one was just about touching. Okay, easy to do. Something you can practice at home by yourself or make it a game with a family member. Hi, now we're outside and we're gonna practice some bocce skills outside. And I have some volunteers and some familiar faces that I think you'll recognize from uh, years in the past at camp. So first we have... Jennifer Manor. And do you want to say anything about camp? Um, you guys have come back soon at camp. Okay, thanks, Jen. And with her? I'm Coach Betty. Coach Betty, and we have? This is my sister, Holly. She's been used to come to camp way, way back into the 80s. And I'm her sister, Coach Linda. And Holly really misses camp. And there are volunteers uh, for uh, the bocce tonight. So thank you very much for helping us. Okay, what we want to do is practice one bocce skill. And Jen's going to uh, demonstrate how to set it up in the grass. She has some cones in her hand. She's going to put one down. And that'll be the starting point. And then she's going to walk off 20 small steps. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and put down a cone, and then do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to go back to the beginning. Okay, before we start, let's remember Jen, would you pick up one bocce ball? And when you hold the bocce ball, you hold it in the palm of your hand and your fingers are spread around it. When you stand, your stance should be, if you are left-handed, your right foot is forward like Jen. If you're right-handed, then your left foot is forward. You swing the bocce ball back, keep it close to your body, and then release it. Jen's aiming for the very nice, Jen, for the close bocce ball, or sorry, the close target. Okay, Jen, ball number two. Okay, ball number three. Very nice. And last one, ball four for the close target. Excellent, doesn't get much better than that. Very nice, Jen. Okay, now she's gonna aim for the far target. Very good.
Okay, next one. Very nice. And the last one. Thank you, Jen. Very nice job. Now we're on the bocce court and we're going to play one frame. So to start the game, we start it with a coin toss. Who are the captains of the team? The, cap the teams need to select their captains. Okay, the people, the team who wins the toss will pick the color of the bocce ball that they want and they will also roll the polina and the first bocce ball. So, Holly's going to roll the polina. She must come to the throwing line. The Polina must go halfway to the midline. It did not make it in the first roll, so we're going to roll it a second time. That's a good one. Very good, Holly. Okay, and Holly will also roll the first bocce ball. Okay, now the green team will, will roll one bocce ball. Nice, Very nice, Jen. Green is in, meaning green is closer. So red will roll the next bocce ball. Okay, green is still in, so red will roll the next bocce ball. Okay, green is still in. Red will roll the next bocce ball. Very nice. Okay, green roll the rest of the, your bocce balls. We are playing on a real bocce court and have a bocce set, but if you don't have that at home, you can set up a court in your grass with just your with just cones or use uh, water bottles if you don't have cones you can use if you don't have bocce balls you could use softballs tennis balls any other um, sports balls that might be in another type of a game that you have at home Very nice, very nice. All right, let's look at the scoring. I'm going to stand at the Polina. And there are two bocce balls here that will count as a point, as a point each. And that red one is closer than the green one. So that will be two points for the green team.
That's going to wrap up our bocce for today. I hope you'll take some time and set up some skills to practice or set up a game. Remember, you don't need a bocce court. We started bocce at camp with just six cones in the grass. And if you don't have a bocce set, you might want to think about asking for a set for Christmas or for your birthday. It makes a great gift. I miss all of you who I usually see at this time of the year at camp, but I know we'll, we'll be together again in the future. And for those of you who are watching who have never come to camp, I hope you give it a try. You don't know what you're missing. And I'm going to leave you with the most important bocce rule. Have fun and hope to see you at camp. Lunchtime!